Hi, welcome to Informatica Support TV. Today we're going to be talking about Netiza code pages and data types. We're going to go over a couple points, common points of confusion. If you were to go into Power Center and create a Netiza source or target, you'll notice that there's two different varchar data types. You've got varchar and nvarchar, so we'll go over the difference there. Um, there's also a common issue we've noticed with regards to Windows Latin 1 and some of the characters that you'll see on this code page which don't exist on the Latin 9 code page that Netiza supports. And finally, we'll go over some tips that uh, you may be able to do on your end to help try and figure out what's wrong with your data and a couple simple things you can do to try and resolve the issue. First of all, nvarchar versus varchar. So the Netiza system supports single byte data and double byte characters for is, uh, with extended ASCII um, using the Latin 9 encoding. For Unicode data, it's going to use an nvarchar data type to distinguish the code page name. So just, we'll just show you uh, some examples here of the data. Um, on, in a varchar field, you'll have Latin 9 characters, such as all the characters that you would see in a European uh, writing system. And then all the ASCII 7 characters, like ABC123. So nvarchar for UTF-8 characters it's going to be pretty much the same as above. Well, actually, it's going to be all those characters as above. Plus, you're going to get the Windows Latin 1 code pages, symbols, and a few other, uh, other characters which need to use UTF-8. And then on the right, of course, the um, international writing systems, which we all know will require UTF-8 anyways. So as I mentioned, there's, there's usually some confusion with Windows Latin 1 because Windows Latin 1 and Latin 9 are both extended ASCII code pages and uh, they both use ASCII data movement mode. The, the difference here is if you want to take a look at these screenshots, on the left is Windows Latin 1, on the right is Latin 9, which is what Netiza uses for Varchar. If you were to expand that section that looks like it's missing on the right, you'll see that these are all the symbols that, that uh, Windows allows you to type. Um, some of these symbols are hyphens, the dot, 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 the uh, trademark symbol, and there's also a bullet point here as well. So if you were to use any of these characters and try and load them into a varchar field on Intiza, you would just, get, you just see question marks or it would fail to load them. So you, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're storing this type of data in, into an nvarchar field. If there's any doubts, if you think that this data is coming from Windows, you may just want to use an nvarchar column on Netiza, re-import it into Power Center to make sure that that nvarchar is accurate, that the, uh, the metadata has been imported from your, your database, and then use the Unicode data movement mode with Power Center. So a couple of um, uh, things we do here. Usually, when you see the data, you see some junk data, and uh, you have to work backwards from that. So the, the clue here to look at is the very first character. If you look at the very first character, so we know, we know already that Netiza only uses two, two code pages, Latin 9 and UTF-8. So you take the first character. It looks like it's a valid Latin 9 character. So go to the Latin 9 code page on the Internet. And you can look up the decimal value. Here you see it's 226. Now go to the UTF-8 code page. And I use Wikipedia for this. So go to the UTF-8 code page on Wikipedia. And scroll down until you see 226. And look and see what the character is. So we see that it's, no, it's not the A with the hat check. It's actually a symbol. And how UTF-8 works is it reserves some places for in the uh, kind of extended ASCII range where it would be on Latin 9. It reserves those places to reference or to map to other code pages uh, to pull in those, those other writing systems. So we know that this is actually trying to um, pull in data for a, for a symbol. And most likely here, it's represented by three characters, which should just be one character um, if we had used the Unicode data movement mode and an nvarchar source or, or target data type. Uh, so similarly here, we, we can see that um, down below, 
the initial characters are any of these A, capital A's with the symbols on top, this is usually a good indication that what you really have is something that would be a Latin character. However, it's been encoded in UTF-8. So you want to make sure that you're using an NVAR char column in Power Center and using Unicode data movement mode. The, the best way to do this is just to re-import the source, re-import the target, fix the mapping, make sure that everything matches the Natiza database, and then try using Unicode data movement mode and, and see what happens. You know, if there's any problems, definitely give us a call. Hopefully, uh, this will resolve any of the simple issues. Um, I mentioned using Wikipedia. So what I do is I just Google Latin 9 Wiki or UTF-8 Wiki, or this, the last one here is Windows Latin 1, Windows 1252. Wikipedia is a great source for code page information, and you can, you can match up you know, where, which code represents which character on another code page just by taking a look at that. Uh, hopefully this, this helped out. We'd love to hear back from you. Please uh, feel free to email us at supportvideos at informatica.com, or you can reach out to us on Twitter at InfoSupport. Thanks again.